Everything okay, you? The ship is ready, sir. 88 passengers, Captain. Gross weight 112,000 pounds. Another full load, eh? Thanks, Al. That's what I like to see. Now, for you folks who've never been up on a flight deck before, this is it. The captain and the pilot have the flying controls at their fingertips at all times. While over here, the engineer is very busy with the engine instruments. These are the throttles. Just like the accelerators on your car. One for each engine. Two, three, four. This is the control column. And with it, you fly the airplane. To the right, to the left, down, up, and here are your rudder pedals down below. The airspeed indicator shows just that, how fast we are going through the air. The altimeter tells us how high we are. This vertical speed indicator tells us our rate of climb or descent. The automatic direction finder well, that's just what its name would imply. It points to where we want to go when we tune in a radio station with it. This is the flux gate compass. And this one is the old reliable magnetic compass, just like Columbus had when he came over here. This is the omni range bearing indicator. This is the localizer and glide path indicator, about which we'll talk a little bit more later. This is the artificial horizon. It shows the attitude of our plane with reference to the real horizon. And of course, you know that we have radio contact at all times, ship to ship, ship to ground, two or three transmitters and receivers. Now, this plane has already been very thoroughly checked by the maintenance department. And during the last hour, it was checked by our own flight engineer. But that's not enough. The pilot and the captain have one, two, three lists of checks to make before we start down the runway to take off. Okay, Dick, we'll do the before starting engines check, huh? Right. Oxygen mask. Immediately available. Break selector. And so on through right. 39 separate Here's items. Now. now, you passengers wonder why we sit and wait sometimes at the end of the runway. It is because the captain and the co-pilot and the crew are making these additional last-minute checks. Well, I guess we're ready to wind them up, Dick. Now I'll switch over to intercom and uh, talk to that gentleman outside there by the nose and get ready to start the engines. Ground to cockpit. Clear to start. Ready to start. Start three. Turning three. Contact three. Clear to start four. Start four. Turning four. As soon as the second engine starts, the ground crew checks with the cockpit. Hydraulic pressure up. Now the safety pins can be removed from the three landing wheels. Otherwise, they could not be retracted when the plane is in the air. Clear to start two. The same routine is followed for each engine. Clear to start one. are all turning, the cockpit team goes through another checklist routine. Okay, Dick, let's do the before taxi and check. Flux gate. Cage. Hydraulic pressure. Okay. Gear pins. Three pins. After that, he checks by radio with the airport ground control. Idle while ground control from Eastern Airlines trip 601. Taxing instructions. Eastern 601, clear to taxi, clear to runway 13 right, 13 right, right, the wind south-southeast 10, altimeter 2997. 
Get the runway, Arthur. 15. 13, 13 right, right? Right. 13 right. Okay. Ready to taxi? Brakes off. Control having given us permission, we taxi over to the 